The Appearance tab, or how to work on email design faster. In our elements that make emails or how to start building emails with Stripe a video, you learned what the stripes are and how to assign respective message errors for them to make it easier for you to work on email. In this video, we will show you how to work with the Appearance tab to speed up email production. Because all the styles that you set in the Appearance tab will apply to the entire email. In this tab, you also set design styles for a certain element just once, and these styles will apply to this element across the entire email no matter how many times you are gonna use it. And there will be no need to work on its design every time from scratch. Here you can set email width. It varies from 320 up to 900 pixels. However, please note that we recommend that you set 600 pixels, as this is the standard and the most optimal email width. Also, in the General Settings section, you set the email font, set a background image, and activate the RTL option if you need to write your text from right to left. Now let's move on to the Stripes section. You can see the names of the stripes do coincide with the names of email message errors that were described in the elements that make emails video. The message errors are as follows – header, footer, content, info area. This means that all the styles that you set here in this section will be applied to respective stripes in your email. Let's try and change the content background color or the font size. In the heading section, you set size and color that will be unique for each heading. Then, in your email template, you choose what part of the email text you are going to apply a certain heading to. If you change the heading styles, these changes will be automatically applied to a respective heading in your email. Be sure to set color and font type like bold or italic for your headings. The button section. Here you set styles for all CDA buttons in your email. It means you work on the button design just once, and all other buttons will have it. For instance, you work on their color or you apply a hover effect. The latter is also known as the CSS animated button or the highlight hovered buttons. It means the button changes its color once a user places a mouse pointer over it. In the button section, you may also set font, its type and size. Then you set internal patterns and the borderline for the buttons. If you want to round the corners of your buttons, pick a necessary border radius. Please note that all the buttons that you add to your emails will have the styles that you have just set in the button section. No need to work on each and every button individually. If for some reason you need to change the design of a particular button, you need to click on it in the template and make necessary changes. They will prevail over the styles that you set in the button section. And now let's examine the last section in the Appearance tab – Mobile Formatting. Controls in this section allow you to set certain styles for the mobile version of your email that will significantly differ from the desktop version. Here you set font size for email message errors, unique for each area. You also work on the headings, their font size and alignment. Set font size for the buttons on mobiles or disable the full width button option that stretches the button to the full width of mobile screens. Let us show you what we mean. This is how your email looks at the moment. Full width buttons. Font size for headings is way too large. Now we decrease font size to 14 points, disable the full width option and set a different font size for the headings. 
In the preview mode, we see how our email looks with these changes. Thank you for watching this video. For more information on how to get the most of email mobile formatting with Stripe, please watch our mobile styles or how to experience the new level of mobile-friendly design with Stripe video.